So sitting on my lap right here is an HP Stream 14 laptop running Windows X Lite, a non-Microsoft approved custom installation of Windows 11. A lot of people are sketched out about this and don't know what to expect, so I'm going to show you what you're in for with this and why I actually recommend it over regular Windows 11. So first thing you'll notice about the interface is that the taskbar is a lot nicer. It's not cluttered. There's no search here. It's no copilot. It doesn't take like fucking pictures of your screen like it would view on default Windows 11. Um, it still retains all of its original safety features and all of its fun things while actually being better. If you look when I right click it had some new features here but it also keeps the folder style menu. This is also useful in Windows Explorer because if I right click on here I don't have to go to a little pop-up menu to get the rest of my options. Everything's all here. Also these accounts are completely local. You can confirm this by going to your PC here, users, and you'll see that there is no OneDrive. It keeps the original pictures folder like it did by Classic. So you don't need to have a Microsoft account to use this. Start menu. This is very similar to the one on Windows 7, and if I recall correctly, there is a way to reskin it. I was a little skeptical about custom start menus because, from my experience, they tend to lag it out. This actually replaces the default system start menu and does not include anything like Cortana. It's very fast, very snappy. How do I know this? I've been using it on my main computer for six months, and it has been absolutely flawless. And uh, the big takeaway here, how many processes does it run in the background? Well, you're going to have your essential Windows processes, like you can see we have the anti-malware core service, because this does have Windows Defender. You can switch it off if you don't want it, but in here is just service host, Windows Explorer. And look at that. 12, 8, 6. Look at how low the CPU usage goes down. This is running on a Celeron with 4 gigabytes of RAM, so this is absolutely impressive. And for the last one that I'm sure you all are wondering, does it remove anything that Windows needs to operate? No. The only thing I found annoying is they got rid of the troubleshooter, which, from my experience, has never actually worked that good to begin with. But, like, regedit, all of that is there. You still have your control panel. You still have your original system settings. Let's see, off damn 11. <laughs> so, yeah. I actually do recommend this quite a bit. This laptop with its regular HP and issued Windows 11 build was averaging around 98% CPU. It was freezing. It was unfunctional. This one, which I had to add Microsoft Store to, but they give you a little option to do it in here. It's so fast. It's amazing now. Well, anyways, thanks for watching.